10 Reasons Why Iran Is A Worldwide Threat To Peace And Stability The Western world's counter-terrorism agencies have a habit of prioritizing the stateless terrorist groups as being the most dangerous threat to national security. The media are always seeking a new story, a new terror. Today it is Daesh that sparks the fear in the public consciousness. Yesterday it was Al-Qaeda. Tomorrow, who knows? But in truth and reality, for the past 40 years or more, the biggest threat to Western security has been Iran. Here are 10 prime reasons. 1. Though Iran is clearly not a democracy and the ruling regime is unrepresentative of its population, because the United Nations acknowledges Iran's status of statehood, it brings legitimacy to Iranian actions. The violence and brutality committed both within Iran's borders and throughout the region by the IRGC and Quds militias are seen as government-supported actions rather than the terrorist actions they really are. 2. Historically, stateless terrorist groups have had a cyclical nature of relevance. They rise as if from nowhere, take center stage and then lose their role and fade back into insignificance. Iran's power and growing dominance of the region shows no signs of receding, and it's not an idea, it's a state, and it will continue until there is a regime change. 3. Iran has a vast standing militia, way beyond the needs of its national status or self-defense requirements. Beyond this, it also supports many hundreds of thousands of foreign mercenaries and militias acting externally. 4. Iran has the weapons, including ballistic missiles, and it has shown it isn't afraid to use them. The IRGC officers also claim to have control of Iran's missiles, missiles that can target any state within the Middle Eastern arena. Iran, in partnership with North Korea, is seeking to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles too. 5. Iran is the world's most prolific creator, supporter and sponsor of terrorist groups. It trains, finances and equips hundreds of such forces. According to research by Harvard University, Iran funds almost half the world's recognized terrorist groups. One Iranian general boasted Iran can activate a terrorist cell to attack the government of any nation it chooses. It also placed spies, lobbyists and agents throughout the nations of the world including the US and Europe. 6. Iran has massive resources and wealth and thus the influence this financial strength can demand. Iran has no fear of depleting its assets, they possess the world's second largest reserves of natural gas and the fourth largest oil reserves. Despite this abundance, large numbers of the population live in poverty, ignorance and fear. The Obama-inspired nuclear deal provides the regime with a further multi-billion dollar terrorist funding revenue stream. 7. The expanding influence of Iran in Iraq, Lebanon, Yemen and in Syria is perhaps more influential than Russia, Assad's chosen partner. Iranian-funded terrorist militias transform themselves into legitimate political movements and become parliamentarians. Through direct and indirect intimidation, outright terrorism and financial muscle, Iran's influence is gaining a feeling of permanence throughout the Gulf states. They are approaching invincibility. 8. Iran is a major arms manufacturer and produces a range of sophisticated weaponry to rival most nations of the world other than the USA, Russia and possibly China. The regime will continue to strive to acquire nuclear capability on its own terms or possibly allied to North Korea. Iran's leaders have demonstrated their patience in planning and policies. They require results to ensure re-election. 
In 14 years, the current nuclear deal expires, and 14 years is short-termism in Tehran's eyes. Nine. Iran has already proved itself a threat to other nations' cybersecurity with a range of successful attacks and hacks on foreign government organizations. While it has mainly confined its cyber attacks to local rivals and influence zones, it has recently exploited the cyber weaknesses of a large group of parliamentary members of the British government. 10. The Iranian regime outstrips non-state-based terrorism in the scale and scope of its crimes against humanity. Iran's leaders sanction torture and execution of its own people, and similarly support and encourage its proxy regimes to commit the same acts. It leads the world in executing its own people, and frequently squashes any hope or hint of religious, social or political freedom with outrageous brutality. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch both rank Iran and its regime at the top of their lists for human rights abuse. With those 10 reasons, it seems abundantly clear how dangerous Iran and its vicious regime are to the national security of the world's nations. It's abundantly clear too how they threaten the security of the civilian population of cities around the world. Right now, everyone is concerned and fearful of ISIS. Al-Qaeda is a horrific memory, but remember the boasting of one Iranian general. Iran can activate a terrorist cell to attack the government of any nation it chooses. One could argue that the stateless terrorists do have a claim to be fighting oppression, though the misguided and murderous route they take cannot be condoned or rationalized by humanity. However, Iran as an individual, self-determining, and affluent state of its own master can make no such claims. The Iranian regime is a cancer, a disease, an evil malignancy. It fuels fanaticism, terrorism, and extremism, and is extending its influence and poison largely unopposed.